Uh, good evening. Um, I've lived in Fort Ferro for 35 years and it's got worse and worse. We actually in our household have got what we call the escape committee now. So if you're planning to go anywhere in Fairham or local hospitals, you've got to plan the time you go, as you won't get back home for hours. You've only got to look at Gospel Road, Newgate Lane, and our daughter lives in Rowner, and sometimes it can take an hour and a half to get to her house now. Bearing in mind there is roadworks going on, but even when there weren't, it was sometimes half an hour, 40 minutes. So look at all these road plans. At the end of those roads, there are bottlenecks, so you can have all the roads you like. It's going to bottleneck somewhere and backtrack. And the other thing is, who makes the final decision where this goes ahead? Is it you, the council, that has the final say, or is it central government? Okay. Uh, the answer is that the decision, the decision on the planning application is made by Fair and Borough Council's planning committee. But should that decision be to refuse the application, then any applicant has a right of appeal and they appeal to the Secretary of State for Communities and Local Government, who then sends out one of his inspectors from Bristol and holds a public inquiry. And at the end of that, the decision is for the inspector or the Secretary of State. If we granted it, uh, no, you couldn't actually. That would be that. But, uh, Okay. Yeah, hopefully you'll get the message. The other thing that seems to be a lot of people's minds when we talk to locally, and we can't understand why Fairham Council and Gosport Council don't get their heads together and build a toll bridge over Fairham Creek and get all the traffic up onto the motorway and out. Makes total sense. Yeah, and it's something that's been talked about for 30 years. It's something that I think I can almost guarantee will never happen. And the reason for that will be that the um, the environmental constraints on doing anything on Fairham Creek would rule it out and of course the cost would rule it out as well. So I would be the last person to stand here and say there's ever going to be a bridge across the creek.